Welcome to Raz World. Today we are going to make salt dough picture frames. Um, and it's kind of related to Christmas. And it's Christmas um, picture frames. Okay, so tell them what our ingredients are. Um, a big rolly pin. Um, a Rapunzel cutting board. Uh, salt, flour, water, two spatulas, and a big measuring bowl. Yes, yeah, so we have a cup of flour, cup of salt, half a cup of water. That's the basic salt dough recipe. So, Rhea, go ahead and pour all of that into the big measuring cup. All of what? All of the ingredients. Salt, flour, and water into the big measuring bowl. Whatever I want first. Mm -hmm. You might want to move the bowl to the center of the table though, so it doesn't fall. Okay. Perfect. And then you're going to mix it all together. We're using whole wheat flour because it's what we have, so we're going to hope it turns out just as well. All right, now give it a good mix. We're gonna mix, mix, mix for a while till it gets nice and doughy, and then we can roll it out. It's already getting thick. Oh, good. So we tried to get the right consistency so it felt nice and doughy. Now we're gonna roll that into a nice big ball and roll it out so we can um, cut a picture frame shape into it. Of course, at this point, you could do whatever ornament you wanted as well, whatever shape. All right, so we rolled them into nice, show them the balls. Nice ball. Here's, here's my ball, and here's the heavy giant. Excuse ball. the sun. We can't get a good lighting in here. And now we're gonna roll them out. Do you want to do one in a picture frame shape, honey? Mm -hmm. Okay. They are that good. Great. We no. just made a little baby picture frame. Here it is. That's the square inside. So we just cut out the shape of a square and cut a little square inside of it. Took that square out so we can put a nice tiny picture in there, maybe like a two by three, once it's all painted and molded and everything. So we're gonna take away the excess dough so we can keep a working. Roll it into a ball again and then roll it out. I'm, you can tell them what I'm making, but I want it to be a surprise, but you can tell them. Oh, you want me to tell them? them? Well, you can't see the mold that Ray is using, but it's a S-T-A-R, a star. Star, a heart, a flower, and a gingerbread. And a star. crown and your frame. So... We might make some more, but what we're doing right now is preheating our oven to 175 degrees. We're going to bake our little ornaments and our picture frame for about three hours. And then we're going to go ahead and let it dry for a few more hours. And then tonight we are going to paint it and decorate it. So before we put it in the oven, Raya, if you want to kind of do fingerprint imprints or anything, um, on your ornaments, now is the time to do it while they're still wet. You could do fingerprints around the frame. But you I could want write to your do name. More. Yeah, we'll do more. Nice fingerprinting. Yeah. Hey guys! All right, so we waited and we waited and they dried and they dried. Um, yesterday we got ready to start painting some of her stuff. Here is the picture frame that she indented with her fingers, um, fingertips. We're gonna decorate that, bedazzle it a little bit and put a picture of her in the middle. You'll notice I poke two holes at the top so we can hang it with some ribbon. Um, and then what we did with the other dough, as you know, is made a whole bunch of kind of ornaments. However, what we didn't do is put holes in them to hang. So Raya, what are we gonna do with those? Mm, we are going to make them into magnets. Right, so that's a big strip of this magnets. Looks, this looks like it's long enough. Dad. 
So here's our picture frame. Ray is done decorating it. Did some glitter glue, some sparkles, and some paint. Um, you can see our holes up top. Now I'm doing the experiment. Now she's gonna do an experiment with another ornament. And when no, this I'm is not dry. Doing the experiment with the ornament. Oh, I saw the heart there. I'm just doing the experiment. Okay. Well, when this is dried, we're gonna Mod Podge it and then hang it up with our ribbon. Um, these, we're working on having them dry, be Mod Podged, and do our um, magnets on the back. This one is in the process of drying right now. So we just coated it with some Mod Podge, slapped on the magnet, and we're letting it dry. You could eat. Cute! <coughs> Cute gingerbread man. <coughs> Drying time. What did you say? Drying time. Thanks, guys. We're all done. And we choose the picture to put in here. And thanks for visiting Maya's World. I hope you had a good video. Let's Bye. see what we made. Hold it up still. Okay, there's our picture frame with a cute little girl in it. So we um, um, ray his fingerprints, paint over it, photo, some Mod Podge, some string photo through photo there, a picture, and we even put some magnets there so it could be an, or um, or <laughs> an ornament magnet. or on the fridge. Let's and here them. are our other ones, let's all with magnets them. ready to go. Let's do a video of me dressing this girl. <laughs> okay. That'll be our next video. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. No, we're doing the video.